hello gemini welcome to your bonus how are you guys doing okay so i just finished your mega reading all right so we're going to go ahead and do your bonus gemini um your bonus in love if this resonates you know what to do you guys like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel if it doesn't resonate i will have a playlist in the description box for you make sure to like the video guys if it resonates you guys been doing so well Thank you guys for all your love and support. You guys are amazing. All right. I hope you guys like your mega because it has everything. It has everything. Okay. It's a full detail, detailed reading. All right. So let's get into it, y'all. We're going to do your spread and then some messages in your bonus. All right, angels. What's going on for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini, please? Gemini and their person. Gemini and their person. What's this? All right, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, excuse me. You know, this person is definitely coming towards you. They want to um, show their affection towards you. They want a second chance. This is what I'm getting here. They want to plead their case with you. Trying to see if they can do anything, if you still want them. They look at you as the Empress. Somebody that they can have this life with. They feel very fulfilled with you. Oh, complete with you. And they're ready. I feel like this person must have stepped back or something. Um, must have felt like they were getting anxiety or they, they were being in a committed relationship that they didn't want. Or something was flowing in a direction that they didn't want or wasn't ready for. And they kind of backed up a little bit. But now they're ready to come back. And, you know, <laughs> I see this person on their knees, honestly. You know, doing whatever they can to get you back. <laughs> the Knight of Swords. So this person is coming off as a knight. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. They could be very jealous when it comes to people around you. They don't want no one to have you but them kind of attitude. Very stern at times when they're mad. And cold, too. Hmm. Wow, they looking at you as their everything. They see you in the long run. They know they putting you through a lot of burden. And they putting you through a lot of um, experiences that might not be the best. But they want to make this work. They look at you as somebody that could, you know, be happy in the future. Have everything together. Abundance together. They're constantly thinking about you. Um, I feel like they look up to you. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This person is sexy. Sexy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. They think, yeah, you, they're daydreaming about you constantly. They want to make this work, you guys. You know, on the back, though, I feel like someone is just ready for a new beginning, for someone, for this to end, for the cycle to end, whatever this might be for you. Like, you just want something fresh. I'm seeing, like, a lot of regret here. This person is coming back from your past. There's a lot of thinking about you can't get you out of their minds, and this is why this is the main push, you know? Soulmate connection here. Like, they feel very defeated in something that they have done. There's not a big, there's not a decision that has been made yet with the angels. They are not getting involved with this because they want you guys to make, they feel like you guys can do this together, but they're, we'll see. This person has a lot of love for you, but they're appearing to you like, you know, someone that just want a second chance. They don't want to be too overwhelming and, and talk about the future with you because they don't want to scare you. I also feel like, you know, they're just trying to make sure that they come at you the right way this time um, and not the wrong way. Okay. Something about teaching you something like they taught you something and you taught them something but they're looking at you like a teacher they're very passionate so i see this person doing everything in their power to make this work with you even though they feel defeated 
when they feel like you might not come back to them. They're not taken. I mean, they're going to have to take no for an answer if that's what you decide, but they're going to try to see where things went wrong and to make things work. Very mature energy. But, you know, at the same time, this person is coming off, could be very manipulative because that's the only card they have left to play. Tell me more for Gemini. This card is like, want to say, twin flame connection for some of you coming through. I also see soulmates as well. But twin flame connection, very passionate energy here. We have third party. This is why the situation is happening. You have your angels around you. So yeah, we already know. I already said the angels are watching, but they're not getting involved. So they're watching the situation. Okay, your angels are watching. They know what's going on and they're watching to see when to step in. Tell me more, please. I was like what is this road trip together some time together that's what I'm seeing here that's gonna bring you guys closer or give you guys clarity to make a decision some kind of trip that's gonna come bring you guys together and you have no idea all right you're so boring you're acting older than you are hmm this is why someone walked out because the relationship is stale. The passion is just not there anymore. Someone stopped. So many secrets. The burden. Nine of Wands. Okay. You're my world, my family, my friend. Damn, you're everything to me. All right. Then I have you need to leave and never look back. Wow, this person is in their feelings, and that could be you, Gemini, that's in your feelings. Depends who hurt who here. Then I have, I'm not ready to invest in you. I need more time with you. So clearly this person is, um, I feel like this message is for when this person is definitely coming towards you and, you know, trying to plead their case, trying to see if you want to get back together. And you're just letting them know, look, I need more time with you, okay? The moon, a lot of secrets, like the moon and the moon, the moon and so many secrets, like confirmation. Things are not being told here. Things are being hidden. I feel like, you know, you don't know the facts on everything and you need clarity. All right? New direction. Mm -mm. Already told you, I already said... I found gold, love, ha, ha, ha. Somebody's throwing shades here. So I feel like, you know, for some of you Geminis, you probably moved on with somebody else um, because this person had betrayed you and you're just like, well, you know what? I found someone else. I found gold, ha, ha, ha. I'm looking at new direction because I did say like someone is ready to just move forward, move on here, um, something new, see what's out there. But again, I just feel like let's do five more because I feel like this person. Tell me more. Actually, four more, please. Sorry. Four more for Gemini. Praying. So he, this person, she or he is manifesting you back. Manifesting you back. Positive family. Your positive energy is very important to you. And I feel like for some of you, this person might be dwelling that or making it very negative. And this is something that you have to make a decision about because your family is important to you. Family, positive family. You maybe have a child together, a child that you just want them to have. All these messages, no, Angel. I need one at a time, please. I need a control. No. Um, let's say. This card is telling me that you probably have a family together and you're trying to decide how to move forward because you want a positive vibe for your family. You don't want them to see negativity and fighting or arguing and stuff like that. So this is a, something that you have to need to you have to decide what you need to do moving forward. Then we have 
I'm in your hands. I want to make this work. Daydreaming of you and me. Didn't I say this person was daydreaming of you? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I know. I'm just too psychic, y'all. I'm too psychic. I be giving myself goosebumps. And then we have Hermit Mode. So you're just trying to like not see what's really going on and just <laughs> focus on your life. You know, make things, make you, make yourself happy. Trying to you know, focus on your goals and everything like that. You're just, you know, you're just on a ball right now and you're doing very good in the hermit mode. This is something that you're used to. This is something that you do. Um, sometimes it, it's funny how Gemini's are doing this because Scorpio usually do this and, you know, but Gemini, you can have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of water sign in your chart as well. Being an a air sign, you know, you're just up and down, just like cancer. So, you know, one moment, you know, we happy and we on the high, we want to party. And then the next moment, we're just homebound and we're focused on our goals. And a lot of people think Gemini's is all about their money. But yeah, we all are. All of us are all about our money. But, you know, Gemini is all about fun, too. And just I love Gemini's, but I can't be in a relationship with one. <laughs> yeah. And no, I can't. I had my fair. I had my fair. My my whole yeah. I had. I had. No, I can't do Gemini. They did this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. But friendship, I love it. Y'all fun. Y'all so much fun. But relationships, y'all drive me crazy because Scorpios want to settle. Scorpio is jealous. Gemini's are outgoing and they love to like make friends. They got friends everywhere. If anything. I think a Scorpio should have a Gemini as a friend because they introduce them to new people. They're outgoing. They talk a lot. They're vloggers. You know, they're not shy. Scorpios are more like inbound and shy. So love you guys. I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoy your bonus here. Know you are worth it. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.